happy last day of school seniors for all the seniors that are still participating in the class. Who wouldn't take their third quarter grades? My goodness. Anyways, uh, I appreciate your perseverance. Actually, everyone's perseverance going through. I'm hoping this weekly uh, different type of topics have, have brought a little insight into the physics that we get to see around us. Uh, and, and to know that you can use uh, these concepts to make predictions, which I think is really cool and really fun. Uh, and it, it leads on to a whole other, um, gosh, career field of, of applying physics to make predictions, okay? Uh, it's in everything you do from cars to homes, uh, to boats, to water skis, to hydrofoils, to airplanes, to everything. It's just really phenomenal. Applied physics, and you have spent this year trying to, f to learn the foundations of physics where it sprouted up. Um, so, so cool. Uh, anyways, uh, the purpose of this video is to talk about forces. Um, I gave a little survey to see uh, if it was true about misconceptions about physics, and honestly, it is. There is a mis major misconception in momentum and collisions, okay? In collisions, two objects come together and they collide, right? And there is definitely a force there. Now, you could have one coming in really fast and hitting. You can have the other coming in. You can have one tracing and hitting. Uh, or just both coming in at different speeds, different masses, etc. The question for me was, what about the force that they experience? In all of those situations, they experience the same force, okay? So let's go look at our results. Uh, not too many people uh, went to the link, so I'm just basing it on uh, what's shown so far. About nine folks took this. So let's take a look at the screen. Let's see which one does this. This should be the screen. So this is, uh, let's see, golf ball, club, golf ball. People assume the ball, golf ball has experienced a greater force because it compresses, right? It compresses. Uh, but tr truly, the reality is same force interacts between the club face and the ball. The ball is just structurally built to deform and bounce back. The club face itself is designed to flex a little bit and pop the ball off that face, but they experience the same force. An SUV versus a smart car, of course it looks like the SUV is gonna win, right? Because the smart car itself um, looks just absolutely mangled uh, compared to the F SUV. Now there are some folks that say neither both, they experience the same force probably because they both crumple. Cars are designed to crumple now. Back in the day when my parents had cars, not me, cars were built like tanks and they did not compress at all. Well, what they found out is people careened forward, right? And it was deadly, car wrecks were deadly and speed limits were low and, and like 50 miles an hour. It was not 70 like we've got. But when they would collide, right? There was no give in that front part of the car right? So the cars could actually make it through uh, an, a collision, not major collision, but a collision because they wouldn't crumple. Their engine block wouldn't be damaged. But now a car gets in an accident. It feels like that's what totaled the car. Well, these cars are designed to crumple and give and break and loosen up in every way so that the passenger is safe, right? So I, uh, and I like that. But we don't like it when our car gets totaled in a minor, what we thought was a minor collision, okay? Again, back to the main point, same force, okay? Uh, baseball, base bat, uh, baseball versus the bat. Clearly, again, looking at that picture, right, that, that ball is deforming, right? But the reality is same force between them. And that bug, <laughs> that bug and the windshield, the windshield will win every time. The bug will not. The bug is not built to withstand that force. And it's a good force, okay? But structurally, right, they are decimated, okay? Oh, the fun of physics, okay? Uh, so let's see if I can bring up uh, a little screenshot. This is from my textbook for my AP Physics class. It has to do with conservation momentum, but the reality is if you, if you were to stop the video 
This would look like a Newton's third law interaction, a force interaction, right? The force on A uh, from B is equal to the force on B by A, right? And here's a little more diagram. They experience the same force, but in equal and opposite ways. Now this has to do with uh, that concept of impulse uh, that we had, uh, where was that impulse? Uh, it was force times time, okay, if I can find it down here. Oh, maybe it's further. Uh, oh, we're not gonna get there. Uh, force multiplied by time, there it is, right? So if they experience the same force and they experience the same time of the collision, right? Uh, which they do, it's they're in contact the same time with each other, right? They have experienced the same force, then their change in momentum is the same, okay? It's so bizarre. So their change in momentum is the same, and that just gets us back to conservation of momentum, all right? So it's really key that in, in, in collisions, in momentum, in conservation of momentum, the force between two objects colliding is the same, okay? I hope that clears it up. I hope you can watch this. I hope you have a great day, a great weekend. Uh, and folks that are sticking with me, two more weeks, okay? Uh, and so as we get closer, uh, let me know your thoughts. We're going to do, oh, harmonic motion next week. So vibrations, natural frequency, uh, and how that can destroy bridges and buildings, okay? And how we design around natural frequencies. All right, have a great week, weekend, and see you next week. Happy graduation or last day of school seniors. I hope you get to uh, celebrate in a special with family and maybe see a few friends. See you soon.